If you guys need NBA 2K20 badges to hit up, go plugged on Twitter for the cheapest and fastest badge grinding service in the community. I'll put their link in the description. What's up guys, it's Solo back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best badges for all guard builds in NBA 2K20. Now today, I'm on my playmaking shot creator, so I'm gonna be showing you guys the badges on him, but I have used different guard builds throughout the entire year so if you guys want to leave a comment of your build and you know any specific questions you have for what badges you should use i will reply to every single comment so make sure to ask questions in the comments if you have any recently i've been playing a lot better in the park and i believe that is because i changed my badges i changed my badges a few days ago and ever since then i've been playing so much better so that's why i want to get this video out to you guys to show you guys what the best badges are in the game now there are a few badges that i'm going to show you guys in this video that i know for a fact you guys aren't using but after this video i'm telling you guys you should put them on i'm gonna give my reasonings as to why you should put them on but yeah let's see if we can get 50 likes on this video make sure to subscribe if you're new and let's get into So I recently finished badge grinding this build. I made this build probably a few days ago, and this is what the badge breakdown looks like. If you guys want me to make a video on how to make this exact build, please go in the comments and let me know. But to start off here, we have the finishing badges. And for the finishing badges, I only have one finishing badge, and the finishing badge is gonna go on Giant Slayer now. Giant Slayer is the best finishing badge in the game for guards. As you guys can read the description on the bottom, heightens the effectiveness of layups over taller defenders. So as you guys know, as a guard, you're probably about 6'3 to 6'6 six, six at the most. And when you're driving into the paint, there's going to be big men. There's going to be seven foot tall people in the paint. There's going to be 7'3 players. And Giant Slayer makes it easier to hit layups on those tall players. Now, if you have more slashing badges in your build, I would recommend getting Giant Slayer up to at least gold. And then for the other good badges, I would say Fancy Footwork is a good badge for guards that helps you in the paint, creating space, especially if you do hop steps. If you guys don't know how to do hop steps, I really recommend you learn how to do them. Slithery Finisher is another good finishing badge. Relentless Finisher is another badge that's good. And then Cross Key Score is solid. Contact Finisher as well. On my Slashing Playmaker, I have a mix of all of these. All right, so I just switched over to my slashing playmaker. So if you guys do have more slashing badges in your build, this is gonna be what you guys are gonna wanna aim for, for the badge breakdown. I do have 11 badges, so I don't know if you have 11. That's kind of a lot for a guard, but I have Giant Slayer on gold, like I said. That's one of the best badges. Relentless Finisher also on gold. This is kind of debatable. You could go Relentless Finisher Silver, Fancy Footwork Gold, but I go with this. Fancy Footwork, like I said before, is a really good badge. I put that on silver. Contact Finisher helps with contact finishes so i put that on silver and then lob city finisher is one that i just put on bronze because i feel like having a badge on bronze kind of helps you out more than you guys think and just putting because on my uh, slashing playmaker i catch a lot of lobs so this badge just helps me finish those lobs but if your teammates don't throw you a lot of lobs then you can take this badge off and you could really put it anywhere you could put it on slithery you could put it on fancy footwork contact finisher cross key score you could put it anywhere and now for the shooting badges, and this part is crucial. You guys are gonna put all these badges on. I'm about to show you. So starting off first, we have catch and shoot on silver. Now, as a guard, there's two types of guards. There's the completely ISO guard, where like if you're playing twos, your teammate will be sitting in the corner. And then there's the type that's like pick and roll, pick and pop type guard. And that's the type that I play like. I play like that pick and roll, pick and pop type of guard. You know, when I play with power, he has the ball a lot and he dots me sometimes. So I need catch and shoot because I do that. That's just how I play. The second build is going to be Deadeye. We're going to put that on silver. Deadeye is a badge that's very good, honestly, this year. But I don't take that many concessive shots. And if I do, I feel like silver is enough to help me out. I don't really need Hall of Fame Deadeye because, again, I don't take that many concessive shots. I only shoot when I'm open. The next badge, we have difficult shots, and I'm putting this one on silver. You, you know, you might be thinking that I have a shot creating build and I should just put it on Hall of Fame, but I'm going to be putting it on silver because this year I feel like difficult shots, it doesn't really do much, but it does do something like putting the badge on. Definitely. I definitely have seen a difference than when I'm playing without the badge, but 
putting on the Hall of Fame, like it's not like it was last year where you could just hit every fade you took. So silver is what we're gonna be doing for difficult shots. Next up, we have Green Machine, and this is one of the most important badges in the entire game. You guys are going to want to put this on Hall of Fame if you can. If you can't, you're going to want to put it on Gold for sure. If you press Y, it shows the uh, shooting badge info. I don't know if you guys knew that, but you, you guys can read it. Gives an additional shot boost when consecutively achieving excellent releases on jump shots. So basically, when you green a shot, the rest of your shots are going to be given a shot boost if you get like two or three greens in the same game or like in a row like it's going to be hard to miss with this badge on because this badge just gives you a huge shot boost to the rest of your shots trust me you guys are going to want to put that on now i'm going to talk about a quick honorable mention here we got hot zone hunter if you guys have more than 22 shooting badges then you should definitely put this on like if you have like 27 or like 30 shooting badges put this on you can put it on gold maybe hall of fame if you have enough but for me i don't have hot zones everywhere and it's hard to get hot zones this year because in the park this year they did a patch so now your hot zones reset every 25 games in the park and so like i don't have consistent hot zones so like this badge does nothing if you don't have a hot zone so that's why i'm not really using it um but the next badge we have here is quick draw and this is going to go on hall of fame easily now if, if you can't time your shot um on hall of fame then maybe go to gold my slashing playmaker i use gold but that's because i can't get hall of fame um, but Hall of Fame definitely does give you an advantage, but if you're not the best of players, then I recommend going on gold because Hall of Fame just makes it harder to time your shot, but it makes it better in the long run because you're getting a shot off quicker, which helps you. The next badge that we're going to be putting on is Range Extender. We're going to be putting this on Hall of Fame. This is like limitless range from last year. Range Extender, it's just, it's simple. You guys are going to want to shoot from farther, the farthest distance possible, and, and Hall of Fame is going to allow you to do so. Now, like I said in the finishing or slashing section of this video, sometimes you guys are going to want to put on bronze badges. Even though you guys might not like it, put tireless shooter on bronze. It makes a difference. I've, I've seen the difference uh, firsthand with having no tireless shooter versus having it on bronze. And I also have tested it on stuff like gold and hall of fame. It doesn't really do anything. So just put it on bronze. All right. So now I have three badge upgrades left and I'm going to be showing you guys the most slept on most underrated badge in the game. And you guys are looking at this, like which badge could I put it on? Could it be corner specialist? It can't be hot zone. Cause I already mentioned that as a flexible release, it's actually volume shooter. And this badge is so slept on. I'm going to put it on gold, put all of my last three uh, badge upgrades on it. And this is the badge that has given me like the big, biggest difference from when I used to not use it. Once again, if you press Y on the badge, it pulls up this little menu and you guys can see it on the bottom. After a player has taken a small handful of shots, an additional boost to shot attributes is given for every subsequent shot, whether it's a make or a miss. So for a player like me who takes probably 10 to 12 shots per game, this badge is crucial because even if I'm making the shots, I'm getting a shot boost from this badge. Even you know if I'm missing it, that's good because um, it's really hard to go cold with this badge unless you're giving like turnovers, but this badge, trust me, it helps you out. Um, the more shots you take, the easier it is to make them. All right, now we're on the playmaking section of the badges, and this year, Ankle Breaker is an irrelevant badge. It does not do anything, so don't put that badge on. I don't know if you guys have, but don't put that on. And we're starting off once again with another bronze badge, and that's going to be Bailout. We're putting that on bronze because this is another badge that I have seen a difference with when I have it off and when I have it on. And bronze is all you need with this badge. You know, um, Bailout helps you when you're like passing out of a shot, basically. Like when you're about to shoot a shot and you press A to pass out of it, sometimes you'll throw the ball out of bounds. But with bronze Bailout, my player has never thrown it out of bounds. You know, it might be possible to do it, but it's very rare. So bronze is all you need on Bailout. All right, so I'm just gonna get these two badges out of the way right now. We're putting Dimer on Hall of Fame. We're putting Floor General on Hall of Fame. Now these two badges do nothing for me personally, but they help the team and they're gonna help my team win. So that's why I'm putting them on. Dimer helps your teammates shoot off of your passes. So whenever you hit them, they have a higher percent of chance of making the shot. And Floor General is a badge that increases your teammates attributes. So if you have it on bronze, all of their offensive attributes go up by one. Silver, they go up by two. Gold, their attributes go up by three. And Hall of Fame, they go up by four. So I'm going to put this on Hall of Fame, help my teammates out, help the team win. Trust me, you guys are going to win more with these badges on. Your teammates are going to make more shots. It's worth it. All right, the next two badges are the most important badges, at least for playmaking, in my opinion. And that's Handles for Days. We're going to put that on Hall of Fame. And then Quick First Step, we're putting that on Hall of Fame as well. Handles for Days helps you maintain stamina as you're dribbling. And as you guys know this year, if you do like three dribble moves, you run out of stamina and you're just not gonna hit your shot so hands for days is a necessity 
put this badge in the Hall of Fame, trust me. And then quick first step is also a necessity because like the name says, quick first step, you know, say you do a hesitation or any dribble move really, and then you start running, it's gonna give you a quicker first step and it's gonna help you get by your defenders. Even if you're a big man, uh, there's probably not too many big men watching this video since it's a guard video, but even for a big man, I would recommend putting this badge on if you have one badge upgrade, put it on quick first step. It's gonna help you out a lot. Now I have four badge upgrades left and it's honestly a hard decision because there's a lot of good options here. You got Lob City Pasture. I wouldn't recommend putting this on anything higher than bronze, but that's not where we're putting it on. You got Space Creator. You can put that on Hall of Fame if you want. You got Tight Handle, Stop and Go. So if you're a playmaking build, you can really spread them out and put them all on like each of these. But for me, I have four badge upgrades. I'm going to put them all on Unpluckable. And this is debatable because Stop and Go is another good badge. So if you have any more playmaking badges, I would recommend going Unpluckable Hall of Fame, putting the rest on Stop and Go. But Unpluckable helps you not to get ripped. So it makes it harder for the defender to steal it from you. Some people say that it doesn't really do anything this year, but like, I don't know. When I have the badge on, I get ripped a lot less than when I don't. So put Unpluckable on Hall of Fame. Now for the defense slash rebounding badges and as a guard this year, they don't really give us too many options. A lot of these badges are for big men, like Box, Brick Wall, Chase on Artist. All these are mainly for big men, but then you get Clamps. And Clamps is like, it's just it's just such a help. Put on Clamps on the highest possible level. I put it on Gold because that's the highest I could go. If I could put it on Hall of Fame, I would definitely put it on Hall of Fame. It just makes it so that it's harder for your defender to get by you. Put it on gold, no questions asked. Next up, we have Intimidator, and I have Intimidator also on gold. Intimidator was one of the most underrated badges coming into the year, and a lot of people know about it now, but if you don't, trust me, put it on. Let's press Y to see the badge info. Offensive players have less success shooting when contested by players with this badge. Also boost the shot defense ratings when tightly guarded by an opponent. And this badge activates, like, you don't even have to be, like, on the player. Like, my teammates, um... The guy that my teammate's guarding could shoot the ball and just by me having this badge on, his shot percentage goes down. And you'll see the badge pop up in the top right um, corner where your badges pop up. Trust me, put Intimidator on. Now for guard badges, we're kind of running out of options here. The only options we really have left are Pick Dodger and Pick Pocket. Also Tireless Defender. But other than that, the rest of these badges are all for big men. Uh, maybe Interceptor as well. Um, but for the sake of my build, I'm going Pick Dodger on Silver. A lot of people would go Pick Pocket but like i've used it and i just don't get a lot of steals with it like i feel like it doesn't really make a big difference so i'm going pick dodger on silver i would go pick dodger on gold if i could because screens are like monstrous this year sometimes i have gone intimidator to silver pick dodger to gold but i like having that intimidator on gold because that badge is just so good put pick dodger on silver it'll help you guys get around screens all right guys if you made it to the end of the video go in the comments and comment solo df this will just let me know that you guys made it to this point of the video because i actually want to see who actually stayed to the end of the video because this was kind of a long video um and i also am still grinding for df if you guys didn't know that but yeah i hope this video helped you guys out if you guys have any questions about badges or different builds make sure to hit me up in the comments because i reply to every single comment like i said before make sure to drop a like on the video if this video helped you out or if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching yeah, niggas hate on me, hate on me. I'm getting money. What the fuck can you say to me? Yeah, bitches cry for me, cry for me, cry for me. If you my nigga, then you're raw for me, raw for me. Yeah, you a treat, but you a dog to me, dog to me. Baby, you see me, get no love from me, love from me. I keep a hoodie, cause it's cold to me, cold to me. So when y'all see me, y'all gon' know.